So let's try to find out the GDP capita per person in all countries and you will find a bunch of articles just find the trusted one so I'll go with this one so let me scroll it down this is for World Bank simply click on this and from here we can understand that who can take this job so if I come here here they have explained the GDP growth so this information is not that important for us not that helpful we can go back we can go back and we can come back here GDP per capita and here they have mentions in the last video, I shared one of the job offer I got and the technology they want me to have to work in their team as a blockchain developer and the package they are providing. So when I uploaded the video, what I have found that a lot of you have a lot of questions. Some of you are really happy with the package they are providing and some of you are really disappointed. Many of you have personally DM me and asking me that is this what we will get as a blockchain developer. All questions I'm going to answer right now in this video that who should be happy for the package they are providing and who should not be. Who can take the job and who can't take the job. When it's come to taking a job and internship or you are taking a job as for learning then what are things you have to consider so these are the things we're going to talk about in this video that who can take this job so before we talk about the package and the salary you will get let's talk about the job offer that what is your role as a blockchain developer so as i have already explained extensively that what are the skills they want you to have if you really want to be a part of their team so they want you to be good hard at truffle testing libraries, how to know a smart contract, how to build an effective API. So I've, I've explained everything that what do you need to have if you really want to be a part of this team. So if you look at the close look in that particular technology they want you to have is like these are pretty beginner friendly. So if you have the skills, if you know the smart contract and you just want to start your career as a Web3 developer, then this job is absolutely perfect for you. I'll come back to the salary. Let's focus on the job description. So you need to have all of these basics technology. You need to have your like in-depth knowledge about these two smart contract and everything. And they haven't mentioned you that what specific role you're going to work in the company. They want you to have all of these skills so they can fit you in any particular segment. So if they can they ask you to build a smart contract, they ask you to work as an auditor. They're looking for an intermediate developer who can know all of these things so they can fit in their project in any one of these segments. So it's absolutely great for beginner who's looking for an internship, who's looking for a job and they want to step into the Web3 space. If you haven't built any project, if you haven't worked in any company before, then this is the right opportunity for you. You are getting a job and you, there is tons of things you will learn. So if you work in the six to five months in the company, you become expert developer so you can demand higher pay and that okay so it's this job is for beginner not for advanced developer so if you're a beginner i would suggest you that you have to take the job now come back to the second topic that why this pay is so less so as i told you that this job is for beginner not for advanced developer you're going to handle basic things that's why you're getting paid like that and they have also mentioned that you can scale it this package they're providing like up to 15 to 20 is totally up to you the kind of knowledge you have and the kind of negotiation you will do with the hr when you visit for the interview. So I just want to divide. The first one is for the Western part and the second one is for the Asian. So if you come from Western countries like Canada, USA, Australia, New Zealand, England. So you can see that these country has a higher cost of living and the package they are getting, the package you will get as working in the company is not going to be suitable for you because the GDP is really high and the cost of living is very high. But on the other hand, if you look at the Indian audience, the Asian people. So let's try to find out the GDP capita per person in all countries and you will find a bunch of articles. Just find the trusted one. So I'll go with this one. So let me scroll it down. This is for World Bank. Simply click on this and from here we can understand that who can take this job. So if I come here, here they have explained the GDP growth. So this information is not that important for us, not that helpful. We can go back, we can go back and we can come back here, GDP per capita and here they have mentions. You can find your country GDP and you can simply compare that how much you are earning, how much you are spending and what package you are and salary you are getting. So if I come back here, if I grow all the way down, let me find India. So I tried to search for a while but I couldn't find the like updated data for this GDP. But here I found this article where they have highlighted that it, this data was updated last in 2021. And here you will find all the countries with their per capita income. You can simply scroll and you can find your country. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the India. You can see India per capita income is 2,257 US dollar. If I simply take that amount and I'm going to simply convert it, that one is the latest one. You can simply come up here and you can check it here. If I come here, open a new tab, I'll say, and if I convert this dollar into Indian rupees, it's turned out to be something like 185,103 rupees. Not that not, not that big amount okay 
if you come from western country like usa canada australia unable to sustain in this amount because your gdp your cost expenses your daily wages everything is really very high so if i take this amount the entire amount simply copy that one and come here and i'm going to simply paste here the amount and i'm going to divide it by 12. so let me remove this comma so you guys can understand okay so let's calculate that if we click on this calculator you can see and this is the amount we got 50,425 it's not that big amount it's very less western country us canada australia then this amount is nothing for you so you as a person can't take this job if you really want to make a living out of it because if you want to start as for the learning purpose then it's absolutely great to work in the field because you will learn a lot and ultimately at the at the initial stage it's very hard to find a job it's very hard to find and get your hand dirty in a real world project so you can build your portfolio so i i would suggest you that if you come from a like australia canada in western part then take it take this job as for learning take this take this job as for learning and enhancing your skills getting a real life exposure into the project and once you work in a six to four month you will get increment obviously those who will hire you they will look at where you come from and on the basis of that, they're going to do the offer. So they are hiring in India. That's why they're offering this much because this is the standard average salary they are providing in the IT sector right now. The most of the people are getting. But if you come from the Australia, if you come from USA, you will get different pay because you have to see. They they have to look your living cost. That how much you are paying for the rent, how much you are providing for your food, how much you are paying for your transportation. These all things comes into the picture, and then they're going to provide you the salary so it's very important that whenever you get any job offered you have to understand that where you belong from and what is the purpose for you for taking the job you don't have any experience in the past working in the real world project then i would suggest you that don't consider for the money build your portfolio once you start working in a company once you build that connection automatically you will get a lot of exposure and the pay is insane so right now we don't have much developer in the web3 space the demand is really high that's why they are also hiring the fresher those who come from the non-technical background they're hiring those developers as well because there is a less demand it's all about supply chain if there is a less supply then the automatically the demand will go high so i would suggest you that focus don't need to focus on the money just focus on the learning take it as a take it as a as a learning as a portfolio project and those who are watching from an asian country like india bangladesh pakistan or in nigeria i would say that you have to take this one because for you it's absolutely perfect and it's the average pay you will get and you can work and you will get a good earning and you can build a portfolio as well so that's the entire fund i have because I, when i see that many of you are really disappointed i can show you the comments like this guy who was talking about that it's very cheap and india is a very cheap country where they can find the cheap labor it's nothing like that it's all about the skills and it's all about the cost of living so in your country the cost of living is high that's why they offer you higher amount even in india if you talk about west bengal if you talk about bangalore if you talk about delhi if you talk about bombay if you work in delhi or bangalore the pay you will get is much higher compared to the bengal you will get high pay in bangalore you will get high pay in bombay you will get high pay in delhi but if you come to the bengal you won't get that much amount which you will get in bangalore because the cost of living is high in bangalore okay so that's the entire funda of this paycheck that how much you will get this job is work for home you don't need to go to office and pay your expenses for the traveling you can sit in your home and you can do the work okay it's a remote work so anybody can do it anybody can do it so i would suggest you that if you get this kind of opportunity and if you get this kind of pay don't ignore it whether you are from western or whether you are from india and you you can think that i deserve more but i would suggest that it's always better to have something rather than nothing okay so just focus build your skills around it get a real world project exposure and that will give you the real learning okay so that's the only thing i will discuss about it and do let me know whatever queries you will have in the comment section so i'll try to respond to that i'll try to give you the answers and i'll try to give clear all your doubt so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have found this video valuable and still if you have any confusion end down do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.